All right, everyone, thank you for joining us once again. So we are hanging out at our local Johnstone Supply to discuss new control boards and new motor technologies. So we're hanging out with Jim Foltz from White Rogers. How are you today? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. This is a pleasure being here and, and uh, being able to go through all this great technology we have nowadays. Yeah, so we spend a lot of time talking about technologies and innovations. We just came back from the National HVACR Education Conference where it was all about new technologies and innovations. We spent a lot of time talking about ECM motors, inverter technology for compressors. So what we've got to start thinking about too is replacement parts. Like I'm a universal parts guy. I like keeping parts that are very flexible so that I have lots of opportunities to you know, utilize universal parts out in the field. But we've also been moving into a lot of ECM motors in our gas furnaces, right? And our air handlers as well. So when we start talking about universal replacements, we have to really start taking into effect that there's a lot of technologies out there. So we're going to talk about a new board today. We're going to talk about the new 50M56X-843 universal replacement board, but it'll work with PSC motors and some of our ECM motors. Correct. Is that correct? Yes. All right, so when we talk about ECM motors, we spent some time with Chris Mahali from Regal Rexner talking about the different types of voltages going into ECMs. So we have in our earlier stages, and especially in our X-series motors, we would have like the 24-volt AC, but we're starting to move into some PWM, pulse width modulation DC signals, going even into some of our constant torque motors. So how do we address that, and what should we be looking for when we're talking about universal boards with ECM motors, like this particular gas furnace that we have here? Hey, that's a great question. And, and what we have with the 50M56X is when we were designing this, we were looking at different types of voltages that ECMs receive. And what we found was early on, most of our constant torque ECMX motors would take this 24 volt AC, AC signal. Right. Well, somewhere around the time that we actually saw the change, the transition, two ECMX motors in new manufacturing, the, the July 2019 mandate. Right. Uh, and, and with that change, motor manufacturers also were looking at the signal that their motor would take. And that signal uh, from that point forward, most across the board, most of these motors will take a DC signal. And that DC signal can it be anywhere from nine volt DC all the way up to 18 volt DC. Right. And, and that DC signal will work on uh, even old control boards that would have sent a 24 volt AC signal to the motor. The motor also will receive that DC signal and turn the motor on that way.